Today we're going to be trying the craziest NBA players pregame meals from the most boring ones to the most extravagant. And of course, we got to start with the king, LeBron James. Whoa. What, what is this? LeBron James' pregame meal is honey sriracha lime salmon, quinoa, veggies, a protein shake, and grilled pineapple. Okay. What do y'all think of LeBron's meal, bro? Uh, visually, looks okay. Dude, what do y'all think of quinoa? Strange. I like rice better. The pineapple smell is so strong. Do you make this yourself? I might have done a little bit. Okay. James cooking is so always fire. I mean, it's, uh, it's salmon. I like this. I, the salmon's fire. I didn't like quinoa, but I am enjoying this. Mm -hmm. This was LeBron's go-to meal when he was with the Miami Heat. So, Zach, you played the highest level of basketball between the three of us. Was this the type of pregame meal you were on? I didn't really eat, like, before the game. I would probably eat, like, a good lunch. I tried to do, like, pastas and stuff the night before, and then I would eat, like, uh, something like this. I feel like this just looks so healthy, but it actually is so good. It's so good. We're going to be putting all of the NBA players' pregame meals on a tier list. Where are you guys putting this on a tier list? Given that an A, I enjoy that a lot. But for now, an A. I think I'm gonna give that an A as well. I think Zach's about to give it an S. S. It's oh, an S. I knew it. That is an average rating of an A, so LeBron is getting an A from us. Zach can finish this whole thing. Honestly, I, I kind of want to have a little bit more too. I'm about to say, man, get back in here. We literally can't stop eating yeah. LeBron's meal, bro. I, you know what? I'm gonna change it to an S, bro. We're going up to S for that. LeBron I'm telling y'all, this is fire. Yeah, the king is getting an S. Our next player is Derek Rose. Now, they said early on in his career, he would up to two pounds of candy a day. That is crazy. And he loves salad. Sour candies. I can't honestly blame him. I don't know if this is a good pregame meal. No. I feel like when I eat junk food, I hoop better though. Yeah, because you have that like sugar rush. Yeah. Dude, they said he almost cost his whole NBA career over the amount of sugar and candy he was eating because he was almost on the verge of developing very bad diabetes. Yeah, Gummy bears are one of the best candies. I feel like we should rank the four candies we have in front of us. All right, deal. I feel like I love the long sour punch straws, but these ones are kind of mid. How packed? Amazing. Those are good. How's the nerd ropes? Nerds are amazing. That's tough. I know who's last, but who's first? I feel like this is clearly last and this is clearly third. You agree with that? I'm gonna go nerds, gummy bears. Yes. Oh. Sour patch. Agreed. And then punch. I agree with that. Oh, gummy bears are gas. But overall, I will give his pregame meal Same. <laughs> Same. I feel like after I became like 21, 22, eating a whole bag of candy actually started to hurt my stomach. Absolutely. But hey man, look what happens when you take care of your body. That's why LeBron's meal is S tier. Our third player, Paul Pierce. Okay. He just had a PB&J. Really? Yeah. I haven't had a PB&J in so long. I feel like this is a good pregame meal. Not too heavy. It's not too light, though. It's a lot of bread. Heavy carb. Tastes is great, though. Yeah, not a lot of protein. You know what? I'm going to give that a B. Yep. I had the B up already. All right. We're giving Paul Pierce a B for the PB&J. What would you guys eat pregame? I feel like I hoop the best when I just have a Chipotle bowl. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> Dude, I would eat some like probably salmon, brown rice, and like either broccoli some or Some type asparagus. of protein and rice and a little veggie. I don't know why, it's just too healthy. Just, I don't know, it doesn't work for me. So like the healthier you eat, the worse you play. I think so. This next one is probably the craziest of the video, but while we're doing that, let me tell you guys about today's sponsor, DraftKings. Ooh, this is just yeah. the start of Tony Kukoc. This is so much food already. Let's try these knots, boys. The NFL playoffs are here, and me and DraftKings have teamed up to give you guys the most insane offer. All new customers have bet $5 on any game get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That is literally a 40 times multiplier. That is absolutely insane. These knots are gas. These are insane. Also insane, we have a deal for returning customers. If you guys use code JIDA, you can do the no sweat same game parlay. And if you miss on the same game parlay, you will get your bonus bet back. That's wild. That's wow. a great deal. That's crazy. If you guys want to take advantage of these offers, download the DraftKings app, use promo code Jidel. There's no better way to watch the NFL playoffs than with an official partner of the NFL, DraftKings. That is code Jidel. Thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring this video. No love for the salad, boys? Uh, we'll try it out. I don't get in there. By the way, there's a lot more food to this guy's meal. Let's bring the rest out. Wasn't Kukoc like 6'10"? He was a big man. Whoa! Tony Kukoc's pregame meal was a salad, appetizers, chicken, pasta, espresso, red wine, and tiramisu. That is crazy. Pre-game? This is his pre-game meal. Steve Kerr said that they had a pre-game meal together and he asked Tony, isn't this a lot of food? And Tony said, in Europe, we eat a lot of food, we take a big sh and then we play the game. Wow. That is the craziest quote I've ever heard. <laughs> and I want to live by that. Yeah, I love this guy. This guy is awesome. I'm, get going, some of that. I'm going with the tiramisu yeah. real quick. <laughs> yeah, bro. bro. I gotta really try this garlic knot. That pasta looking good. Like this is an absurd amount of food. Mm. I feel like if all three of us ate this, we'd be full. Drinking wine before the game? 
Yeah, you got a little buzz. Gotta get a little loose for the free throw line? Is there a rule against not being able to be drunk while playing? Oh, no, they're grown men. Yeah, Ron Artest didn't follow that rule. That pasta <clears throat> would be looking gas, that's all I'm saying. Oh my god. I think there's actually two different types of pastas. He actually normally orders it as two separate, but we just combined it. This is a lot of pasta. Well, the combination is phenomenal. I'm gonna have to do a stand reach. Come on over, Jeff. Oh, you're right, the mixture of the two different types. Mm. Bro, I feel like if I ate all this food, I don't know how I would play though. This is like maybe the night before or maybe like a post game. Apparently they had this meal in the afternoon. I would never eat this meal while the sun's up. Let's just say that. <laughs> I mean, how many calories do you think these guys are burning? In an NBA game, a lot. Look how big they are. Taste-wise, amazing. Pre-game meal, questionable. Bro, let Tony cook, Oach. That was bad. That missed. That missed <laughs> so bad. Let him cook. <laughs> You're getting dangerously close to some <laughs> racial slurs right now, James. <laughs> this is so good. This is amazing. I love this man. This is my new favorite player. I'm feeling heavy already, boy. <laughs> what are you guys rating this? With the cab, dude? Oh, with the wine, too. All right, wait, we didn't even acknowledge. My man is also getting espresso. Well, you gotta have the espresso to keep you awake after eating this. Yeah, bro, oh my god. I feel like it's just a little bit too big to eat all that. I'm gonna give it an A. I'll lean towards S, I love it. But I, yeah, I agree with you. I would go S. I see, you know what? Yeah, all man. right. This thing's a G, bro. That's, like, look at bro. this guy. <laughs> That's the MVP, bro. That's All right, hey, I'm gonna stick with an A, but you guys both gave it an S, so it is on the S tier. Our next player, Stephen Curry, another all-time hey. great. You know, he's trying to eat good. It's kind of like LeBron's, but it's a bit less, you know, no fruit. That's his career. Kind of like LeBron, but a bit less. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Curry, he's a pasta, chicken, and veggies. I love chicken, but I feel like I'd way rather have the salmon than the chicken breast. Is it dry? Absolutely. It's not the worst chicken breast we've ever seen, but it's not the best. Pasta, I mean, we just had pasta. It doesn't look quite as good as Tony's pasta. Oh, it's pretty good though. Mm -hmm. That is good. Pasta is really good. I'm sure Curry has an actual chef that's... Yeah, his wife. Oh yeah, I forgot about oh, yeah. that. <laughs> so Chef Curry's wife, Aisha, is an actual chef, so my man is probably eating very good. I feel like the quinoa complemented the overall food more. It was though. just an exotic touch, to be honest with you. It feels exotic. Oh my God. <laughs> Easy, Jeff. I feel like the problem with this, it's, I'm sure it's a great pregame meal. It clearly works. Steph's one of the best players ever, but like, he has a chef wife. I feel like he could be more exciting than this. No? I'd give it an A. It's not S tier because it's just not exotic enough. I'm personally gonna give it a B. Damn, I'm giving it an S. An S? All right. So it's an A. No. It's an A. Our next player is John Wall, and his pregame meal is just literally two hot chocolates from McDonald's. Okay. I love McDonald's hot chocolate. It's amazing. Yes. It's Never so it. fire. I don't think I've had a McDonald's hot chocolate since I was a kid. Yeah. No, this is really good. They have the best hot chocolate. My man might be onto something, but honestly, for how fast John Wall plays, how explosive John Wall plays, he needs some sugar. Uh, don't you feel like he needs some like substance though? Just imagine this is all you've had before the game. I mean, maybe he just plays like he's hungry. I feel like he does play like he's hungry. He do be scrapping. As a pregame meal though, I gotta go B. I would give it a C, but it's so good. It's better than candy. That has to be a B. It would go on B. I'll give it an A. <laughs> Our next player is Giannis Antetokounmpo. Hey. Giannis' pregame meal is bananas and peaches. But the problem is peaches are out of season. I couldn't find it at any grocery store. So we're going to pretend there's some peaches right here. Editor, throw in some peaches. Peaches, 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 peaches. Yeah, I love bananas, bro. I am surprised Giannis doesn't need more food than that, though. He is a very large man. Honestly, I know we don't have the peaches in front of us. Having said that, I feel like this is kind of a boring meal. It is very straightforward. I'm going B. Only because I can't give it a C because it's healthy. I'm gonna give it a C, man. I just feel like this is kind of an L compared to Coo Coach, LeBron. It's really a tough dilemma. <laughs> You're giving it an A? You're giving it an A? That's a healthy, good meal. Should we just take away Jeff? Jeff is giving everything an he A. He skews everything. Well, I'm consistent. But like, you think this is equal to all those other things? What else did I give an A? All right. I'm sticking with an A. It is a B tier meal on average from us. Like if I were to choose where this goes on the C tier, I'd put it ahead of Derrick Rose. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah, 100%. This is Hito Turkoglu. Can you say his last name properly? Turkoglu. Turkoglu. The other G is silent. Real G's move in silence. Exactly. Like Turkoglu. Like Turkoglu. <laughs> Yeah, so Turkaloo's pregame meal was whole pizzas. That's a Why did you get a heart pizza, bro? Bro, so Tony's Pizza also got this from there. They either had grandma's pizza, Mexican pizza, or heart-shaped pizza, and I didn't know it was gonna come with grandma. Okay. So, heart-shaped pizza. So, they said he would eat two whole pizzas as his pregame meal. Jesus. Tony, they make great pasta. Pizza, very mid. All right, but can you imagine eating two of those? No, two pizzas before a game, I would go to sleep. 
I can't say I haven't eaten pizza before a game. I don't know how to rate this, because obviously this pizza isn't what he was eating. Yes, it's not the pizza. So you're rating the concept of two, two pizza. whole pizzas. Pizza's the best food in the world. Two what about pizzas? steak? No, pizza is above steak. I feel like if I eat two whole pizzas, I'd feel so sluggish. I feel like that's similar to fruit and candy, honestly. Nah. I'm caving in. One pizza would have been an A for me, two going down to B, so it looks like we're going C. We're going C, bro. Another European next up, Luka Doncic, and his pregame meal is pasta bolognese. That's a horrible picture. What do we think of Luka's uh, photo for the year? Not great. Am I tripping or is this just spaghetti? I like this. I think maybe I went too hard out of the gate. Yes. Straight A's across the board for Luka. I'm gonna have a little bit more, man. Okay, go crazy. Oh, good, go crazy. You wanted that meat from the middle. I need some Luka meat. Can't do a food video without being sus. It's impossible. All right, our next player, is the reigning MVP, Joel Embiid. I know where these are from. Yeah. McDonald's. These are from McDonald's. I don't know if Joel's burgers are from McDonald's, but Joel Embiid was spotted last year eating cheeseburgers pregame, literally while the trainer was stretching him out. Yes, Joel Embiid, he used to drink two liters of Shirley Temples a day. He's off his Shirley Temple diet, but he was spotted eating the cheeseburger last season, so. I am so excited to eat this right now. I really don't like McDonald's. Hey, the hot chocolate was delicious. I don't like their burgers, though. Gotta respect the MVP, though. You know what I like about this? It's a handheld. Like, you can eat it, you can pick it up, you can have it on the go. That's too. How that is that sus? You know, like LeBron's meal, it's almost like a white tablecloth type meal. You know what I mean? Like I Luca's, you gotta sit down. Like, and beads is nice because you can eat it on the go. Or you're getting stretched Walking out. Walking around the tunnel while you're getting stretched out. Hold it in your hand. Hold it in your while hand. While you're getting stretched out. While you're getting stretched out. You can walk around the house. S? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I'm gonna S tier right now. I'm giving it a B. It is a B tier then. What's the average of, of two Bs and an S? A B plus. Two, four, plus four is eight, divided by three. That is gonna go on the B tier. At the front of the B tier. At the tier. front of the B tier, we have Joel Embiid and his cheeseburgers. What did you guys like about it? We're not just rating like how good something is, we're rating it as a pregame meal. I don't know, it's got, it's got carbs. Protein, it's got carbs, protein, it's got protein, carbs. Veggies. Also, cheeseburgers are just great. You know what? Yeah. I'm, a, I'm gonna be the middleman. I'm raising Joel up to A, but bottom oh. of the A tier. Our final meal, maybe the most boring, plain chicken and plain rice. Who is, Who is this? this? This is Ray Allen. Ray! That makes sense. This is a man who was very routine oriented. He did the same thing every day, ate the same food every day. So this is literally- Shot the same amount of shots. The most basic seasoned chicken, uh, pepper and salt, and unseasoned rice. Phenomenal golfer. Phenomenal shooter. No veggies. I feel like, Ray, you could do better than this. Oh, Zab didn't like that. It's just plain. I'd rather have quinoa than brown rice. Really? I think the only thing I'd rather have this over is Derek Rose's. Just cause this, if you power through it, you'll probably play well. I'd rather have this over pizza. Ooh, I'm going B here. I'm also B. I'm gonna give it a C, but that does get a B tier rating from us. All right, so this is the full tier list. Obviously we gave out multiple S tiers, boys. So which do you guys think was the best pregame meal? Best pregame meal, if I'm considering taste, pregame, sustainable energy, and fun. You guys thinking what I'm thinking? LeBron, by yeah. far. LeBron as well. I'm it's not LeBron. even close. Yeah, I gotta go with LeBron. LeBron's tasted way better than I thought it would. Well, thank you guys for watching. Thank you to DraftKings for partnering with us on this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure to check out Jeff and Zach. Peace. Peace.